saying Jake ain't got nothing, man. Jake hurt, man. You see? Jake barely making it. But like I said, you give your money all to them so-called pastors that leading the flock astray and destroying and, and devising mischief to the nation of Israel, man. The Negro, Latino, the Native American, man. All right. Which say, it is not near, let us build houses. Mm -hmm. This city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Yeah, because... The cauldron is the wash pot. Yeah, the wash pot. Basically, basically, a padron is a wash pot, like the brother said, but what's in that wash pot? Whatever you got in there, and whatever you got in there, you thinking it's protected. You see? You thinking it's protected. So that's why you build a house, because you think America is going to be protected. And that's the same way when they was in, the, in Jerusalem. They thought Jerusalem was going to be protected. But what happened? The Babylonians invaded. But this, and this time, what's going to happen? These nukes going to light Israel up, man. Going to light two-thirds of y'all up, man. All right. Therefore, prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. Good. That's what we out here doing, man. Yeah. This is uh son of man is Ban Sha'al Adama. Yeah. That's what that that's how you said in the Hebrew. Alright. This is Ezekiel 12, 21 through 25. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb? that ye have in the land of Israel saying. What is that proverb? Because what cause what they were saying was, oh, this, that, what y'all saying ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna come true. You know? Y'all prophesied in the heavenly father word, that ain't gonna come true. You see? That's why he said, what's this proverb? That ain't, that ain't gonna happen to us. Now nah, you crazy. You got your mind. All right. Oh. Keep waiting on the Lord. Yeah. Keep waiting on it. All I got to do is believe. You see, I know I got faith. All I got to do is believe. All right. He says, son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying? The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Yeah, what you saying, what you saying, what they was telling Ezekiel, what you saying, oh, it ain't going to come true. Yeah, but they had never seen it. You see? Yeah. They thought the most High wasn't going to put that pressure on them by them Babylonians. And just like you think the most high ain't gonna use Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, to put pressure on you. Because you so blinded, because he didn't give you all them gifts and give you a job, now you wanna hold hands with him. But the most high gonna destroy you and right with him. You see? Tell them therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, I will make this proverb to cease, uh -huh. and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yeah. But say unto them, the days are at hand. Yeah, because the most I said, look, y'all playing, y'all think it ain't gonna happen? Psh, I'm gonna make it happen. The days are at hand. And you can see it all around you, man, this economy of collapsing. Man, everybody uh, 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 up in arms, they buying guns left and right. They talking about banning the guns and stuff, man, banning the clips. Man, that's Esau blessing. You think he gonna get that sword up? You crazy, without a fight. And you got Barack Obama, the gingerbread man, passing all these executive orders and these laws, man. These either might see that and they're going to blame it on two-thirds of Jake. Because they think, because the so-called white people think Barack Obama is a so-called Negro. When he's a Hamite, he's from a whole other nation. So they're going to blame everything on him and what's happening. Because guess what? These people in, in America... Got amnesia, man. They they forget about uh, long-term stuff quick. That's why you people on YouTube don't have an attention span over 10 minutes. 30 seconds, shit. You see? That's why it's 30 seconds, really. That's why when that bird brain nigga comment to Zion, a.k.a. Pope uh, 13, uh, 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 comment on the comment board, you'll look at what he comment and look at that video instead of looking at the rest of what's going on in the other parts of the video. Because you people don't got no attention span, man. You people fucking seconds. gone, man. That's why commercials ain't been 30 seconds. You people loud, 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 and uh, uh, set up with vanity and entertainment for you scatterbrains, man. You see? Hollywood. Because if we had, our, if these videos we make through the spirit, if they were one minute long, they'll have 5,000 hits. And then, and then not only that, not only that, no, it ain't gonna have 5,000 hits because guess what, we telling, we telling Jake the truth. You see, Jake don't wanna hear the truth. Anything to fuck up 
fuck up uh, whatever they got. They, they feel like they, yeah, they routine. They don't want, they don't want to find out nothing about that. Oh man, you messing up my flow, man. I gotta get this money, man. I gotta make plays to come up. You see? I gotta, I mean, I gotta get it, man. They been saying that five or six years, they're still in the same spot they've been in. So anything that's gonna that's gonna destroy their foundation, their so-called foundation, they don't wanna hear it, man. Jay crazy, man. But we out here to build up the nation of Israel and the elect out of them, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. The rest of you people can go play footsie in the bubble bath, man, and die in this place. You see? All right. Ezekiel 12 and 22, son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying? The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Gun. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Mm -hmm. For there shall be no more any vain visions, nor flattery, divinations within the house of Israel. Yep, no fight gonna stop it, man. All that, all them things that you talking about that wasn't gonna happen, the Most High gonna make it happen, man. Destruction is coming to this place. The Most High is gonna invade this place with thermal nuclear destruction. He gonna lay it flat, man. What number is that? Where you at? That's uh, 24, verse 24, is it your 12? Yeah, he reads. For I am your house. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. God. It shall be no more prolonged. Yep. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will say the word, and I will perform it, said the Lord your house. Yep. He read. Go to 13. It says, Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is in many days to come. Yeah, so that's why when we tell you it's coming, you'll say, Ah, oh, that ain't gonna happen, like I was saying, man. You'll, 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 you'll put it off, and then when people, when people say that, they don't even realize, they don't even realize that they basically going against the scriptures and, and, and basically saying, Look, we don't want the Lord. We don't want the Lord, who you ignorant call Jesus, to come back. That's what you're saying. Oh, that ain't gonna happen in my time. Oh, I ain't worried about it. That's what you're saying. You're saying that you don't want to be delivered out of this situation. You don't want your people to be out of this situation, and you don't want the Lord to come back. That's what you're saying, whether you realize it or not. They, they being selfish. They want to keep being in their own main way. Yeah, and that's death, man. Who's a good house, nigga? You supposed to want to lift up the nation of Israel. You supposed to want to see the nation of Israel exalted above all nations like the scripture. Well, shoot, let me get it. Why, why you always talking about you ain't scared of dying? That nigga on that house. That nigga on that house. It says, uh, uh, this Deuteronomy 7. This Deuteronomy 7 and uh, 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So what you people are saying when you say you don't want the Lord to come back, you don't want to be exalted above all people on the earth. You'd rather stay in these conditions and be a slave to Esau and let him stomp all over you and run all over you and blow your top off, put your head on flat when he come through with a with a with a taser or a four five or a Glock nine or whatever it may be. They wanna be the house nigga. Yeah they wanna be a house nigga man. <laughs> See, these niggas like these, these niggas like these conditions. That's why they say, oh, that ain't gonna happen in my time. I ain't worried about that. I'm gonna build me a house. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, man. He in the lap here, bro. Oh, yeah, dog. Nah. <laughs> Boy, Ezekiel, people, man. Ezekiel 12 and 27. Okay. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Yeah. Therefore, say unto them, thus said the Lord Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. Right. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, shall, said the Lord Yahweh. Shall be done. So it's going to happen. Keep reading. Verse 13. 
And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that yep. prophesy, mm -hmm. and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Out of their own mind. Talking about what they think. What they think gonna happen and not go there. They think they have a thing. Because they all got a thing. You know, they, they got their opinion and what they think mm -hmm. and then they prophesy on their own heart uh, uh, saying that ain't gonna happen or the Lord, what kind of Lord to do you like that? The Lord went, the Lord, I, I just can't believe that he'll that, that he do his people like that. Shit. You need to read the book of Numbers. <laughs> no, really? You need to read that book, man. You skipped over that. You skipped over the book of Numbers. It was like, oh, too many chapters. They went right past it. Yeah, oh, shit. yeah you got a headache. <laughs> you got a headache in the second chapter. You didn't understand it. You they had to take that BC. <laughs> I just can't count all of them. That came over through the Red Sea. Yeah. Too many people yeah. to count. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. It said, verse 2 Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say, Thou unto them that prophesy out of their own heart. Yeah, out of your own mind. You see, that's what them, that them pastors do, man. And then they'll tell you, Mary and Joseph never had sex. What a Hey, man, they don't know the scriptures, man. They don't know the scriptures, man. They'll tell you, Cornelius is an Edomite. They don't know the scriptures. Cornelius is an Israelite, man. He's a devout man. You need to look up the word devout, man. You need to go to Acts, what is it, Acts chapter 10, the first verse on down. You need to look up the word devout. Esau is not a godly man, man. And just because they say Italian band don't mean that that's an Edomite, man. Italian band, that's part of the Roman army, man. And you got Jake's, which is nothing new up under the sun. You got Jake's and Esau army anyway. You had, you had Jake's and Ptolemy army. You see? You people don't know history, man. In the Greek army, Ptolemy army, man. You know, in Egypt. So you had Jake's, in, you all always had Jake in the army because guess what? Jake is stronger than Esau, man. And Esau need that, just like Abraham Lincoln needed Jake during the Civil War. He, he got defeated, and what did he do? Ran and got Jake. And what Jake do? Be a sucker and fall up behind him. You always had sellouts. You always had it, man. They go along just to get along. Yes, see? Go along with the bullshit just to get along. You people don't know history, man. What the master tell him? If you do this one favor for me, I'll never forget you. Yeah. Like he told Chicken George, but he know <laughs> Chicken George, Chicken George was a, he was an Edomite. He was an Edomite, but Chicken George thought Esau was with him. Esau pulled a 12 gauge on him, told him to blow his socks off, man. Come on, man. Chicken George recognized, wait a minute, man. This devil, man. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy, man. Read, get that. And then, uh, uh, uh. uh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Also, go ahead. Chicken George's son, that Edom, that Edom Mike told him in the movie, when he was talking about the North coming to fight against his brother, I ain't got nowhere to run, I need my clothes. He sent Chicken George's son to his house, and when he was gone, he was trying to rape Chicken George's uh, son, uh, wife. Yeah, that we talking about the root. We talking yeah. about the movie Roots. And that one dude went on kill. But hey, man, that's why. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, when I'm gonna get drown him in the here. water. Uh, no, he choked him to death. Yeah, he put his head in the water. Yeah, he put his head in the water, yeah. yeah. It said, uh, this verse 13, verse 17 of Ezekiel 13, it says, Likewise, thy son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which uh -huh. prophesy out of their own heart, God. and prophesy thy against them. Yep. Yeah, these women. You see? That's time we about going into the women, man. Because guess what? That's why you got all the women in the churches. Same way, that's why they like, lead uh, Israel the flock, I mean astray, man. You got the women teaching the men, and the win men in them churches acting like flaming faggots, man. So, so them women in them churches is joined right with uh, 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 them false prophets that's in them churches. That's why so many women in there. Okay. You see? Uh, Ezekiel 13 and 3, thus said the Lord your house. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit mm -hmm. and have seen nothing. Have seen nothing. Meaning you don't even know the vision and the understanding of the scriptures. The Most High ain't revealed this faith to you, which is the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. He have hid it from you. You don't even know it. You see? 
right. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Yeah. Yea, have have not gone. Ye have not gone up into the gap. What that mean? The, the foxes is like foxes. Is, uh, read that again. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes of the desert. Right. Yea, ye have not gone up into the gaps. A desert is a desolate place. That's the, that's eventually what's going to happen to America. You building your house in a place that's going to be laid desolate, man. You trying to make it in this place that's going to be laid desolate, man. You people are crazy, man. And it's spiritually desolate right now. Because the truth is out. Tearing down everything. Tearing down all these lies. Keep going. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. What that mean? You have not, you have not stood between them false prophets and you have not stood and shielding them from Satan, letting them know through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah what they supposed to do in the vision of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You have not did that for the nation of Israel. Them false prophets in them churches. Because they supposed to stand in between the gaps, man. They supposed to stand in between it to raise up the nation of Israel through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see? All right. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, mm -hmm. neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. So the only way you can make up the hedge for the house of Israel is you step in between this white man philosophies and you show Israel the truth according to the scriptures and show them the vision that's supposed to come to pass by the power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You people not doing that. Bubble Eye Blackfish, Yohanna, uh, 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 Zabak, Yashawan, 666, 666, six, six, six. Uh, 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 False Prophet 666, uh, 2 Zion, that bastard nigga that fell out the truth talking about some Egyptologists, Sarge, Sarge. <laughs> down there in Carolina, Comfy, <laughs> think he the cover the most like man, he out of there, man. Uh, General General uh, Grievous, King of the Two Thirds, man, them dudes done, man. Because when you stand against, uh, in between the gap, you give Israel the understanding of your how about Shimei was shot. You don't tell Israel, oh, Cornelius is an Edomite. That ain't standing between the gap. You saying Esau gonna be saved? See ya. <laughs> ye have not gone up into the gaps, Gun. neither made the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle yeah. in the day of the Lord. So that way, if they don't know, if they don't know who they are and who the Most High is, how you gonna accept him when he come? And therefore, that's why you don't accept us, because we in this image. You see? So how you gonna stand in the battle when all the destruction come? How you gonna get that spiritual power, Lord willing, when the destruction come and him deliver you out of these situations? How you gonna do it? When them false teachers are not telling you. Like the brother said, you ain't read the book of Numbers. The Lord told Moses, they ain't speaking against you, they speaking against me. Mm -hmm. So you ain't read the book of Numbers. You ain't read the book of Numbers. Uh, let me read this right quick. Right quick? Yeah. Uh, like now, yeah. 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 It's Sirach 11. Sirach 11 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Yeah, so is his wickedness. It's still there. It's still there. You see? The, the wickedness of the white man, it, when you get an under... He's going to read Go he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Yeah. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Okay, keep reading. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Alright, now start back up at the top again. The verse 10. Verse 10. Right. Uh, never trust thine enemies. Never trust thy enemy. Who is the enemy? The white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and two-thirds of Jake. Because two thirds of Jake is falling at the custom of the white man. You see? But mainly that's talking about the white man. But you gotta watch Jake too, man. Shit. 
Alright? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Yeah, though he humble himself, you know, try to come to y'all sweet, speak to you smooth, throw stuff at you to try to uh, seduce you, to get you to do what he wants you to do. That's Satan, man. You gotta watch this white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, Esau, all right? Yet take good heed and beware of him. Take good heed and beware of him. That's what the scriptures say. Not us, it's not our opinion, not what we think. Scripture said it, all right? Thou shalt be upon him as it, though have, thou hast wiped a looking glass. Uh-huh, so, so that looking glass, when you wipe it away, and basically, it's like a, uh, it's translucent. You can see it, and then it's like a, uh, like a vision. Okay, it's clear like a vision when you wipe it away. And the only thing that can give you that understanding of uh, when you wipe it away, and 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 get that, get the uh, when you wipe it away and see it, the only thing to help you to understand that is these scriptures. What what do I got right there? Ezekiel 38, was it Exodus 38 and eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quote that, quote that. Yeah, it's uh. When you, if you want to look up the definition of the looking glass, it's Exodus 30, 38, and 8. If you want to look up the definition of the looking right. glass. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you look it up, it's like a vision, man. Here you go, look, it Ezekiel 30, uh, Exodus uh, 38 and 8. Right. And he made the lobber of brass mm. and the foot of it of brass mm. of the looking glass mm. of the woman assembling which assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So that's the point that I wanted to make so you can find out what the definition of the word looking glass. Go look it up. It's in Exodus 38 and 8. Okay, it's a vision. Something that you can see clear. And the only thing, the only way you can see clear of the white man's wickedness is you have to come back to the statute of the commandment and understand the Heavenly Father's word, and then you will see the white man's wickedness. Okay? You'll be able to see through all that stuff. See that he the uh 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 be able to see because it's cause uh his ways when you gotta understand it's translucent, man. You can see through the madness that this white man is doing and the corruptness of him and the wickedness of him, even though he crouched like a tiger. You see? Never trust him. Alright? Because the scripture's telling you, man. Alright? Uh it says, um, yet take heed and beware of him, and thou thou be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, mm -hmm. and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, that's the wickedness. That parabolic, that rust is his wickedness. All right? Set him not by thee. Uh -huh. Least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Yeah, they're like Esau. When we got overthrown as a nation of people, what did he do? Say that he was a so-called Jew. That's why they opened in that land. Even though the Most High gave it to him, you know, on the left hand side, because to fulfill prophecy, you see, but he's gonna destroy them out of that land because it don't belong to them. It's not their inheritance. But if you don't trust him, he'll overthrow you and stand in your stead and be calling himself a so-called and call himself a Jew, which they are not. They are just, they are Amalekite, they the head tribe, and they funded the slave trade. Okay? Right. Said him not by the Least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Yep. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, least he seek to thy, take thy seat. Yep. And thou at the what last... What seat? The rulership. Because the nation of Israel is set up for rulership. That's what Esau trying to do, get back his birthright. And I got documents to prove that uh, uh, the Rothschild know they Edomites and trying to get back the birthright of the nation of Israel. See? I got proof of that. Right. Now at the last, remember my words and be and be pricked therewith. Yeah, prick, prick is a it's a spirit that got the instructions of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. That's what a prick is. It's a driven spirit that got the instructions of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. So we tell him. All right. Psalms fifty-five and twenty-one. The words of of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's the white man. You see? Alright. But but war was in his heart. Just like when he came over with the North American Indians, stole their land, put them all on reservation. 
brought us over in cargo slave ship. 